Just starting out on the piano, today I'm gonna give you four very awesome songs that are perfect to impress your friends. And guess what? It's not this song. Yes, they are all songs that you hear on the radio and you're going to love showing off to your friends and family. Before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every single time I post a video about how to go from zero to playing your favorite songs in months, not years. And let's get started. First, we need to know what a chord is. A chord is when we're playing multiple notes at a time like this. Each song will have its own set of different chords. The first one is As It Was by Harry Styles. The chords in this song are going to be D major, B minor, E major, and A major. For our D major chord, I recommend playing it like this with your thumb, finger one on A, finger two on D, and finger four on F sharp. For B minor, all you have to do is bring your thumb up and play finger one on B, and then the other two fingers are gonna stay in the same place, so you're gonna have B, D, F sharp. How nice. Then for the next chord, E major, we're gonna keep our thumb on B, finger three is gonna be on E, and finger five is gonna be on G sharp. And our last chord is A major, and you're gonna have to rotate down and put your thumb or finger one on A, two on C sharp, and three on E. So what you're gonna do is you're going to look at the lyrics and the chords at the top and play the chord where it sits above the lyric. So watch my example. In this world, it's just us. You know it's not the same as it was. In this world, it's just us. That is as it was for the chorus and the rest of the song follows along very similarly with the same chords. The next song is gonna be Stay With Me by Sam Smith. And this one has three chords. The chords we're gonna use for this song are A minor, F major, C major. And we're gonna play it like this. One, two, four on A minor, A, C, E. On our F major chord, it's going to be A, C, F with one, two, five. And our last chord is C major, and we're gonna play it with G, C, E with one, two, four. So the chord progression will go like this. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're If you want to do a bonus chord right here, you can throw in G major, but you don't have to, but you can go. This ain't love, it's clear to see. And another bonus chord that you don't have to do, but you can, is G sharp diminished, but darling, stay with me. Again, you don't have to put the bonus G major or the bonus D sharp minor, but you can. So here it is one more time. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. This ain't love, it's clear to see. But darling, stay. Before we get to the next song, which one are you dying to learn? Let me know in the comments and I might just make a video tutorial on it. The next song is Demons by Imagine Dragons. For this song, we're gonna have D major, A major, B minor, G major. We're gonna play D major like this. One, two, four with A, D, F sharp in our right hand. For A major, we're going to have one, two, three on A, C sharp, E with our right hand. Then we're gonna have B minor with B, D, F sharp with one, two, four. And then we're gonna go to G major 
with one, two, five on B, D, G. And it'll go something like this. When you feel my heat, look into my eyes. It's where my demons hide. It's where my demons hide. Don't get too close. It's dark inside. It's where my demons hide. It's where my demons hide. And last but not least, we have Antihero by Taylor Swift. We're going to have A major. E major, B major, and then C sharp minor. A major is A, C sharp, E with one, two, three in your right hand. E major is B, E, G sharp with one, three, five in your right hand. B major with one, two, three on B, D sharp, F sharp, and then C sharp minor is one, three, five on C sharp, E, G sharp. And it will sound something like this. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. At tea time, everybody agrees. I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. These are the four really great songs that beginners can learn to impress their friends. All of these songs can be found for free on the internet. Just search them and search the word chords right after the title. Be sure to use the fingerings and the instructions I made with the chords so that playing it is easier. And don't forget to comment below and let me know which song you are dying to learn so that I can potentially make a video on it. Is this you? You feel bogged down in music theory and children's songs when all you want to do is play your favorite songs? If that's you, click the link below in the description to schedule a call if you'd like to go from zero to playing your favorite songs in months, not years. Don't forget to subscribe and like if this video helped you and comment below and let me know which song you would like to learn. And I will see you next time.